Hey everyone, this is Nate from Nintendo Prime, and today I want to talk about a somewhat touchy topic. And it's touchy because it, it goes into some areas that I always told myself I would try to stay away from. Uh, we're going to talk about John Tron today, and in regards specifically to him being removed from the game Ukulele, which is coming to Nintendo Switch at an undetermined date in the future. Latest news report out there says that they are working to get the game on Switch as fast as possible. So while I won't make the universal release date that it will on the other platforms because it, you know, it was a late decision to move from Wii U to Switch, it hopefully will be out maybe a month later. That's my hope anyways. And who knows, maybe they'll sweeten the pot and have a physical version on Switch that's exclusive to Switch. That would that would be kind of cool. I'd be willing to pay even like a $10 premium to have a physical version as long as the digital version is $10 cheaper than the physical. Anyways, so John Tron has said a lot of nasty stuff lately. And I say nasty because it's his personal viewpoint on a lot of things that do with race, do with gender, do with who should be counted as American. Uh, and I obviously don't agree with his viewpoints. I don't know many who agree with his viewpoints. Uh, but I do know that his comments, uh, particularly on some long-winded podcast segment, video segment he was on, really started to uh, rile up the masses. And it got Platonic, the creators of Ukulele, to respond in kind because they obviously disagree with his viewpoints. And here's what they said in a statement to GameIndustry.biz. We recently became aware of comments made by voice artist John Tron after development on ukulele had been completed. John Tron is a talented video presenter who we were initially, two years ago, happy to include as a voice contributor in our game. However... In light of his recent personal viewpoints, we have made the decision to remove JonTron's inclusion in the game via a forthcoming content update. We would like to make absolutely clear that we do not endorse or support JonTron's personal viewpoints and that, as an external fan contributor, he does not represent Platonic in any capacity. Platonic is a studio that celebrates diversity in all forms and strives to make games that everyone can enjoy. As such, we deeply regret any implied association that can make f players feel anything but 100% comfortable in our game worlds, or distract from the incredible goodwill and love shown by our fans and Kickstarter backers. So, uh, Jafari, the, the JonTron, <clears throat> did respond to Platonic's decision, on Twitter by saying it's unfortunate to see Platonic remove me from ukulele, but I understand their decision. I wish the best with their launch. So, John Tron said all the right things in being removed, you know, being all political about it. And that's what's really tough about today's discussion because it gets a little... I, it's weird calling it political because I guess this is more of a morality discussion. And, you know... Both, no no one's wrong in any of this. And what I mean to say is, John Tron is more uh, than willing, more than able, more than allowed to voice his viewpoints on racism, sexism, everything out there, and have them come across as not very open, not very willing to accept a lot of diversity. And that's perfectly okay. I, I want to throw that out there. It is okay for him to have those viewpoints, just like it's okay for me and several other people to disagree entirely with those viewpoints and think he is way off base. Now, personally, I don't know John Tron, but I can say in looking at everything he's done, watching his, is it an apology video? I'm, I'm not really sure exactly what that video was intended. I know people that are really, really hating on the guy right now viewed that video as terrible. Um, I'm not hating on him. I just, I, I just think there's a lot of confusion. I think he's confused. I think what I learned from that video and what I learned from reading his statements on Twitter and watching the podcast or video cast that he was on, where he, you know, spouted out all the stuff that didn't really seem to click well uh, with, I, I guess, his history in terms of the work he's done. Uh, and to be fair, he's been more of a gaming comedian on YouTube, so he hasn't really delved into politics and sexual 
stuff and racism that much uh, until now. But I think what it showed is that he's just uneducated. And I think we need to be a little, I don't want to say forgiving, but understanding that a lot of people in the world are very uneducated on many different topics. And race and racism and sexuality and, you know, what makes an American, all this stuff. It's easy to forget that the education system, especially in the United States, is not that great. Uh, there's a reason that United States ranks so low on you know global education rankings, and even the education we do get a lot of times is slanted towards certain parts of history while ignoring other parts of history, and it kind of bakes people and ingrains them into having a thought process that may not line up exactly with uh, you know overall presentation and viewpoints with reality. So what I'm getting at is. I just think he's uneducated. I don't think John Trump's an idiot. I don't think that he considers himself to be a racist anyways, or, you know, a sexist or anything else in between. I think his comments definitely paint him in the corner of being a racist, but it's almost like I feel he's an, he is an uneducated racist, as in it's an unintentional racism based on the lack of education he has on the topic. And it became very clear when I watched that apology video that he is not really fully grasping what's going on. And that's what happens when you're uneducated. You think you, you think in your brain you have these viewpoints that are rock solid or irrefutable, you throw them out there, and then people fire back at you and you start realizing that you kind of sounded like an idiot. And you don't know what to do about it because it becomes very clear that you don't know enough to really even have a, a full opinion on it. And the problem is that even the people who argue against him um, can also be equally as uneducated. Uh, that doesn't mean that I think John Tron had any views, uh, you know, any legit viewpoints, but it's that he put out there his heart and soul, what he truly feels, and the instant response was to attack him and take him down instead of trying to understand and educate him uh, on where he's wrong and what's wrong with his statements and why he's wrong. And I don't think even to this day, unless he has a personal friend talking to him about this, I don't think anyone has actually sat John Tron down and been like, look, man, I could see why you view these things based on what you know and what you're aware of, but here are some things you might not be aware of, and it might alter his perception. So that's that's kind of where I stand on the whole John Tron thing. I think he made some comments he didn't think were necessarily as bad as they ended up becoming and that's because he just doesn't know enough about what he's talking about uh so again i'm not saying i forgive him i'm just saying that we as people need to not necessarily always jump to the worst possible conclusion about people that we honestly don't know i don't know john tron so i'm not going to sit here and attack him because i don't know him i just know some statements he's made and that to me it just comes across as he doesn't know what he's talking about which is just a, a lack of education now getting back into the meat of this and that is the fact that he was removed from ukulele i totally understand platonic uh they had some backers threatening some you know that they were going to not not buy the game anymore because of john tron and as far as i'm aware john tron's role in the game was probably pretty small but what i kind of hate about all of this is that to me i just want the best game possible right and I have no idea how good of a voice actor John Tron is. I don't think I've ever heard of him voice acting any other game before. Or if he has, I just haven't played those games. But to me, I just want the best game that, that could possibly be made. It's not like John Tron is going out there and actually uh, impacting people in a way that is anything but an emotional reaction, right? He's not able to create any laws. He's not able to do anything. I mean, he can kind of gate his own followers if he really, really wants. But I haven't seen him try to do that. I just think that if he was the best person for the job, then it is sad for me to find out that his voice was removed from the game. Now, if he didn't do that great of a job and they were only teaming up with him so they could use his followers to boost up the sales of their game, which is entirely possible, then I understand. Because all they were using John Tron for was saying, hey, look, we'll give you a break in voice acting. In return, you give us some free advertising. And that's that. And for you know, for Platonic, that's just not worthwhile anymore. They don't need John Tron. They've got plenty of their own traction. And, you know, John Tron just became a distraction. 
So I understand it. But still, I you know, I, I would love to see them release the clips back to JonTron, his voice acting back to him so JonTron can release those clips on his own. Because I'm really interested to know, like, if the voice acting was really, really good, it saddens me that because of some uneducated statements made, I, we might not get the best possible version of ukulele because of it. And that's, you know, again, we don't know. This is all just speculation. We have no idea if his voice acting was fantastic or if it just wasn't really that good and whatever that got replaced with or, you know, is awesome or if that part of the game just got cut out. We have no idea. But it just saddens me to know that personal viewpoints are being taken into account when it comes to making the best possible games. And, and I guess I've always been in someone, you know, who's as editor-in-chief of Zelda Informer for seven or eight years, a founder of Gamnesia. I guess I've always tried to see myself as accepting of other people's viewpoints, even if I totally disagree, um, as long as they're not taking those viewpoints into uh, into attack mode, right? Like, if we have someone who works at Nintendo Prime, who makes videos, as an example, and I find out that they're extremely sexist, it would bother me, and I might have some personal conversations with them, but as long as they're not taking that personal viewpoint of theirs, their, their personal sexist viewpoints, injecting it into the videos that they make, and then, you know, trying to infect our fan base with it, it's not really going to bother me as long as they're producing quality content that our fans are enjoying. Um, and this all gets muddled because he made some public statements that he didn't think were a big deal. I just, I, I feel like, I, I feel lost because I'm angry on both fronts. I'm angry at John Tron for his statements because I just so vehemently disagree with him. And I'm angry at Platonic for letting John Tron go because, you know, the game was done. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's political viewpoints of some of the people that work on the game that I vehemently disagree with. And I'm not going to sit there and be like, hey, you shouldn't work on the game because of it. Uh, so it's just... It's, it's just, I'm in a weird place right now. And I just wanted to bring this discussion to the forefront and see what you guys think. What do you guys think of the whole John Tron situation? What do you think of Platonic removing him? Uh, you know, I, I doubt we're going to have anyone who agrees with John Tron's viewpoints. Um, I know John Tron has got a huge YouTube following, huge Twitter following. He's got lots of fans trying to step up and defend his right for free, free speech. And really, this conversation isn't about the right for free speech. We all have the right as Americans to say whatever we want. Uh, as long as, you know, it's within a certain lingo. Like, we're not allowed to say, oh, we're going to go kill the president. But you're allowed to to say things within reason. And I, he was well within his rights to say what he said. Uh, he's just n not very n not very smart when it comes to the topics he talked about. He just doesn't know enough. So I kind of also want to put this in outcry. And, you know, maybe, I, I don't know if any of you guys want to take it upon yourself, but... We should try to educate people like John Tron, not just him, but some of even his followers. Instead of getting mad at them, present them the facts. Give them the information. Uh, don't get mad if they try to ignore you for it, because they, don't just outright say they're wrong. Just, just try to educate them as best as you can, because in reality, this is all an education process. We're at a time now where a lot of people view the President of the United States as racist. And as such, we really need to throw a lot more education out there about all of this stuff and i feel like too often we respond with anger instead of responding with love and trying to get tap into the mentality they're in and show them where they are wrong in that mentality and i know it can be hard but hey we all can be thick skulled with many different topics so we just have to find a way in so again what do you guys think about john Tron? what do you think about him being removed from ukulele um I'm I'm personally just really torn on all this because I, it just all makes me sad. This is Nate from Nintendo Prime signing out.